Okay, so we have um, Fallout 2010 from Math 114, uh, numbers 4, 5, and 6. Um, this is for um, number 4 here. Find the x-coordinate of the point on the plane that is closest to the point 1, 1, 1. Um, if you have a plane and a point, the point that's, that's on the plane that is closest goes along the normal vector. The normal vector to our plane is uh, 1, negative 2, 1. And so we have a point out in space, 1, 1, 1. So we can get the equation of the normal line. That goes through the point. Parametric equation is x equals y equals z equals. You put the point here, that'll be 1, 1, 1. You put the direction vector here, that'll be 1, negative 2, 1, these guys get multiplied by t's, and we put plus signs in between, basically. So the line uh, that is normal and goes through that point is x equals 1 plus t, y equals 1 minus 2t, and z equals 1 plus t. Now, what we can do is plug this into the equation of the plane to find out what time t do we intersect, we're inserted to this point here, we can find out what time t do we intersect the plane. The line goes on forever in both directions. Plug this into the plane equation. And what we get out is... Uh, x minus 2y plus z should be equal to 3. So 1 plus t minus 2 times 1 minus 2t plus 1 plus t should be equal to 3. And we'll get the time t that we intersect the plane. Okay, and then we'll later backtrack and figure out what that point is. And so we get... Um, 1 plus t minus 2 plus 4t plus 1 plus t. What are we looking at there? That should be all equal to 3. Well, that is uh, convenient that the constants uh, cancel out here. 1, 1, and negative 2. And these guys add up to uh, 6t. Should be equal to 3. And so t should be equal to a half. Okay. And we want the x-coordinate of the point. The, uh, the x-coordinate of the point on the plane. We know that x is supposed to obey 1 plus t. And we know that t is a half. So if x is 1 plus t and t is a half, we get that x is 3 halves. And we could go find the y and z as well, but that would answer the question. We get letter, letter F. That's number 4. Okay. Number 5. We have this function, implicitly. And we want to find the partial of this function with respect to x. Okay, when the function is defined implicitly like this, then uh, what we want to do is basically, um, let's see here. Yeah, when the z's are intermingled in here with this, what we want to do is um, we want to solve this, uh, set this equal to zero. 
So we have um, z cubed plus z minus x squared minus y squared equals to zero, and that's our capital F. We take our F with respect to x and get minus 2x. We take our F with respect to z and get 2z squared plus 1. Um, at the point where we're interested in all the coordinates uh, are equal to 1. So we get a uh, negative 2 here and we get a uh, a 3 here I'm sorry uh, this derivative with respect to z is, is 3z squared so this is a 4 when you plug a 1 in and so um, the partial of f with respect to x at 1 1 is the opposite of the partial of f capital with respect to x divided the partial of f capital with respect to z. So that's going to be uh, 2 over 4 or a half, which is uh, letter E. Yeah. Okay, and then finally, this question number 6. We have the surface and we have a point. Uh, at what point is the tangent plane parallel to this plane? So uh, we have this the surface z equals x squared plus x plus 2y squared. Okay. Now the tangent plane, if, if z is given explicitly as a function of x and y, then the tangent plane can be found in two different ways. Um, you do z minus z naught is your x partial times x minus x naught, your y partial times y minus y naught. That's the tangent plane. And, and so, um, when uh, at what point in the is the tangent plane parallel to this given plane? So, if you want the tangent plane, if you want um, the tangent plane parallel to this given plane, then what they're saying is the planes are parallel if they have the same or, or um, constant multiples of their normal. The normal vector to this plane is 1, 4, 1. That's the normal vector to this plane. And, and you want the tangent plane to be parallel to this plane. So you want your tangent plane to have the same normal, if not exactly the same, then you want it to be some constant times that normal. Okay? And the coefficients on x is the x partial. Uh, the coefficient on y is the y partial. Okay? If we go back to our function, the x partial is 2x plus 1. The y partial is 4y. Okay, this doesn't necessarily have to be equal to 1 and 4 and respectively, but we could say it's k times 1 and k times 4. And we can then uh, figure out what the value of, uh, of k is. At what point is the tangent plane parallel to this plane? Okay. Now z naught, um, the z partial here is a is a, is a one. It works out. So um, um, let's see here. So so two times x naught plus one should be equal to k, and four times y naught should be four k. So it tells me that y naught is k, and 2 times x naught plus 1 should be equal to y naught. What do we do with this information? Well, 
it's supposed to satisfy our equation. z equals x squared plus x plus 2y squared. So z naught should be equal to, let's see here, wait a minute. Mm, parallel to this tangent plane. Yeah, 1, 4, okay. Uh, yeah, and 1. Oh, okay. What we can do is uh, go with an alternative version of the tangent plane. The fact that um, when you have a tangent plane and, and um, you can set it up as capital F of X, Y, and Z, then your tangent plane has the coordinate, um, the, the, the equation FX times X minus X naught, FY times Y minus Y naught, and FZ times Z minus Z naught. And, when you, and that should be equal to zero. That's the second um, way to get the equation of a tangent plane. Depends on how the function comes at you, um, whether you want to do it where you set everything equal to zero, or you want to do it where you have um, z as a function of x and y. I think for this question, actually, we need to go with this. Um, so fx should be some constant times 1. fy should be some constant times 4. And fz should be some constant times 1. If we take our equation and, and solve it, I'm sorry. If we take our equation and solve it um, where we have everything set equal to zero, we have uh, x squared plus x plus 2y squared minus z is equal to zero. And what that can do for us then, um, the equation was z equals x squared plus x plus 2y squared and so I, I, um, either you, you move everything over to the left or everything over to the right. And this is what we call our capital F. And, and so um, what we get is the fact that the x partial is 2x plus 1, the y partial is 4y, and the z partial is negative 1. And what we do is we set this equal to k, 4k, and k again. So we get the value of k through this last point here. k should be equal to negative 1. And if k is equal to negative 1, then we can find, we can backtrack and find everything else. Okay. Um, so 2x naught plus 1 should be equal to k. And 4y naught should be equal to 4k. But now that we know that k is negative 1, then we can find out what x naught and y naught is, and then later figure out what z naught is. Um, this tells me that y naught is k, so, so y naught is also negative 1. If y naught is negative 1, uh, we can get that uh, from here, uh, 2x naught plus 1 should be negative 1, or 2x naught should be negative 2, so we get that x naught is negative 1. All right, so we have our x naught, we have our y naught, we just need our z naught. Then we can just go into our equation. If z is supposed to be equal to x squared plus x plus 2y squared, um, at the point negative 1, negative 1, we get that z is 1 minus 1 plus 2. I think we get that z is 2. Or we'll call it z naught, I'm sorry. So z naught is 2. And that's the answer to the question. z naught is 2. Okay, and how we did it was we um we went there's two alternative there's two versions of the tangent plane. Uh, I started off thinking I could use this version, but um I, I was missing the, the critical part of having the z partial involved. Uh, but all this was necessary though, all this was part of it. And so what I did is then I switched to this other version here, 
and then we're able to answer it from there, taking this information into account. That um, for two planes to be parallel, they don't have to share the same normal, but their normals have to be constant, you know, um, scalar multiples of each other. Okay? And so we get uh, letter D there. So we got um, for four, let's double check our answers for four, we got F, E, and then D, four, five, and six. Let's check the answers. Do I have the answers here? No answers here? F, E, and D, four, five, and six? Yeah, F, E, and D, great. All right, 